Beat it up like. What is going on, people? Welcome back. Today, I will be reacting to another Monoskin video, and we're doing something a little different this time. I'm going to be checking out their breakdown of the song I Want to Be Your Slave, which is extremely interesting. And from an auditory perspective, it's just fascinating what Damiano does with his vocals and the pauses that they have in the songs, the beat switches, the high energy, but the way in which they control the energy with their instruments, with the drums, with the guitars, it's just amazing, the complexity in this song. Very often associated like with the gender roles, like if you're the man, then you have to be dominant in sexual life. If you're a girl, you have to be more submissive or stuff like that. So I think it's of course like very stupid to have- And then of course, like the symbolic meaning um, be behind the song as well, like what she's speaking on right now. It's just so fascinating. Such stereotypes on, on sexual life, but also on everything else. He came up with the riff and he played it on the piano. On the, on the piano, but on the piano, on the, on the phone. Yes, yeah. on the phone. A small piano, so my fat fingers were not able to put just one bottom at the time. Yeah, we're not able so to. So when I, when I wrote the line, the body, ba, 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 it was basically all messed up. It was a shit. Yeah. So when, when, I, uh, when I sent Sounds to them, so it was like, uh, Okay, uh, why do you think that's so cool? <laughs> yeah, I remember yeah. I told Tom. What are we supposed to do? And I was like, okay, what? Damiano, he sent this riff and he like, thinks it's cool, but it's actually cool. shit. Yeah, so exactly. Let's not tell him how can we do to not make this song at all. But then we, we tried to play it with the yeah, bass and the guitar. That is funny. And it sounded yeah. better. And yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We really were better. wrong, we were wrong. Better. It's all about being visionary. Yeah, they were, they were close to missing a big hit if they didn't, you know fix it up and uh, enhance the sound. I want to be a slave, I want to be a master. I want to make your heartbeat run like roller coasters. I want to be a good boy, I want to be a gangster. Cause you can be the beauty and I can be the monster. This was the, the, the first sentences that, that came up to my mind, but these sentences just made like the, the the set were the set for all the rest of the lyrics i wanted to normalize those kind of things that are considered weird so i i wanted to put myself on a dominant perspective and a submissive perspective so it goes on like that through all the through all the lyric, lyrics i love you since this morning They're kind of like switching positions no just for aesthetic i want to touch your body so fucking electric i know you scared of me you say that i'm too eccentric i think um when people watch us from the outside they think that we are maybe those crazy guys this uh sex drugs and rock and roll guys but we are basically normal guys. Yeah. Often people get Good scared course. by things that they don't know or they have a t hard time to accept. Many times you have an idea of who you are and mm, what you like and what you don't and you limit yourself in that because that's what you always get told by the society. So you can't really feel free to express who you are and have fun and try different things because you're scared of what you don't already know. I'm crying on my tears and that's fucking pathetic. I wanna make you hungry, then I wanna feed ya. I wanna paint your face like your mom on Lisa. I wanna be I a champion, I wanna be a loser. I'll even be a clown because I just wanna amuse ya. I think we've done too many crazy things yeah, together, well but we can tell. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> We're pretty stupid all the time. Yeah. <laughs> many, many times alcohol is involved. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be a sexer, I want to be a teacher. I want to be a singer, I want to be a preacher. I have a great sex toys collector. Me too. <laughs> uh, yeah, me too. Not that much, but yeah, I have to. You have to learn. Not that much. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I have my secret closet. <laughs> the first money I earned with music I spent on 
I wanna make you love me, then I wanna leave ya Cause baby I'm your David and you're my Goliath, uh-huh Everybody has this idea where the girl is uh, submissive and uh, the, the, the man is more uh, dominant and yeah. powerful So I, I tried to, to, to create an opposite situation where I, I am David So I'm the small That is so... That's, that's brilliant I didn't necessarily read between the lines or take that message away from the song when i first heard it i just thought they threw a bunch of words together and put them on this like dope instrumental they already had i didn't think that it was this deep oh one and the, and, the, and the girl is goliath so she's the giant because I some rock stars do that you know, they'll come up with the most like offensive, crazy lyrics because they know it's gonna drive controversy and it's gonna get more people to listen to their music. And I guess that's one way to advertise yourself and to do some kind of promotion. But the fact that that wasn't at the forefront of what they were doing when they made this song shows a certain degree of integrity, you know, that they really are doing what they love you know they're doing the music because they love to do the music uh maybe of course it's going to come with certain financial rewards but that seems tertiary secondary to what their primary focus is which is creating music that they enjoy and that means something to them I'm the devil who's searching for redemption and I'm a lawyer who's searching for redemption and I'm a killer who's searching for redemption who's searching for redemption Sometimes lawyers, um, they, they defend uh, bad people and criminals in court so uh, they have to search for some redemption. <laughs> Basically, the man was just saying random names of people. <laughs> See that? Okay, that's where the randomness oh, comes I in. Remember when we were <laughs> he was saying, I'm a zebra who's searching for redemption. Yeah. And I was like, this is really no sense. Like, and he's like, I like no sense. And I'm like, this is too much. It doesn't make any sense. So, no sense has to be. It like stays no sense. sense too. I love <laughs> how they're able to like hone his creativity. Um, because that's just that's an intangible right you i guess you would tap into certain things that make you creative but um i feel like creativity in a particular domain is something that in many ways is innate you can't necessarily teach that you know it's your life experiences it's your story it's your beliefs your convictions that make you creative that trigger certain thoughts and ideas but if that creativity is not like channeled in the right direction, then it can't be optimized. Um, thankfully, it sounds like his bandmates, Ethan, Victoria and Thomas serve as buffers that help him channel his creativity in a way that makes him happy, <laughs> makes them happy and also appeases the public the consumer the listener you and i i love how he's trying to bullshit it though <laughs> sometimes lawyers uh represent bad people in court and you know they have to search for redemption and then victoria's like no he just threw those words together he Searching for redemption and not a blonde girl who's searching for redemption. <laughs> All these different characters, I use them to to explain that um, all, all those kind of different people uh, at the end of the day, they're all aiming for the same thing, that it's redemption, but it's a metaphor for love and um, well-being in general. So no matter who you are and uh, what what you did in your life or what you're doing. If you're poor, if you're rich, you will always aim for uh, something better in your life. So we're all the same, basically. A freak is a positive. Yeah. Super positive. <laughs> always. When you're a freak, you're always accused by other people of being too too eccentric or too loud or too uh, overdressed. <laughs> so you have to 
to search redemption from that. I wanna be a slave, I wanna be a master. I wanna make your heartbeat run like roller coasters. I wanna be a good boy, I wanna be a gangster. Cause you could be the beauty and I could be the monster. I wanna make you quiet, I wanna make you nervous. I wanna set you free, but I'm too fucking jealous. I wanna pull your strings like your my telecaster. We really love roller coasters. Yeah. Because, yeah. I hate those. Damiano, so, Damiano is scared Damiano, of that. Yeah, exactly. And we forced him when we were in Sweden, and he was like almost fainting when he got down. <laughs> yeah, that's really true. Yeah. I think he went to the bedroom to cry in, privately. <laughs> Poor Dan. That was the last time we cried, so. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last time you cried, exactly. For the Olympics. <laughs> There you go. I find them so interesting and I just love their energy. If you enjoyed this reaction, please comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me what else you want me to check out. I will try my best. I will see y'all next time. Peace.